Do you ever question your doctor's decisions? Uh, people always think that doctors uh, cannot make errors, but they are human. That's why it's important to always get a second opinion when your doctor uh, diagnoses you or recommends a procedure. You always get second opinions on big decisions in your life. Why wouldn't you with your health or your family's health? Getting a second opinion ensures that you and your family get the best care and treatment plan. I hope out of hearing this speech that you will think about this the next time you go to the doctor. I'm going to tell you a few examples uh, of how a doctor can misdiagnose and tell you how you can prevent this from happening to you or your family. A second opinion can actually change the treatment or diagnosis a doctor gives. Second opinions are not just for confirmation, they are also for checking for errors. From the Israel Journal of Health Policy Research, it was found that a second opinion resulted in changes of diagnosis 15%, treatment 37% or both 11%. The clinical impact of a second opinion was estimated as moderate slash major in 21 cases of diagnosis and 31% of treatment plans. Uh, most patients, 95%, were satisfied with the experience. Want to hear just how human your doctor is? From the Israel Journal of Health Policy Research, a competent radiologist misses as many as 32 lesions on a single chest x-ray reading and disagrees with himself in about one-fifth of two readings of the same x-ray. It's kind of scary. So if your doctor says you do or don't have cancer or you need surgery, wouldn't it make you feel better to have a second opinion or maybe even three now? Uh, so how do you prevent this and decide which opinion to go with? The steps to getting a second opinion are pretty easy. Uh, I got these steps from Cigna's website. The first step is to ask your doctor for names of other doctors that specialize in the knowledge of uh, your diagnosis. This will not offend your doctor because um, getting a second opinion is expected. Uh, the second step is when you get the second when you go to get your second opinion bring all your medical records from the first opinion uh, the last step is to go over all the information with your primary doctor or specialist uh, to decide which opinion to go with the most important part of finding second opinions is finding good doctors to give the opinions uh, from education for health a good doctor has these qualities, uh, good people skills, partners with patient, enthusiasm, goes above and beyond duty, confidence, decisive leadership. Um, in these qualities, a doctor displays uh, good bedside manners. The doctor demonstrates patient-centeredness by collaborating, negotiating, and educating the patient. Uh, doctor, the doctor is directive, knowledgeable, and competent. Um, so now that you know the importance of getting a second opinion and the path to prevent it, um, the next time you go to the doctor, I hope you'll be way more aware of what they are saying and not just take it for face value. Um, I hope that you use all this information to get a second opinion when your doctor recommends that you need surgery or that you have cancer or they tell you that nothing's wrong at all and you feel like there is something wrong. Thank you.